All right, here's one for a couple of my buddies who uh, have been asking me for a while to get some video of this. So this is for you guys. Oh man, it is a beautiful spring day, not a hardly a cloud in the sky. It's 74 degrees. I just got off work and it's Friday, so let's go for a ride, man. If you hear a little wind, I've got my visor up at the moment because I'm about to pull through the gate. We're going to take the long way to a local store, country store, so I can pick up a couple necessities. It's Friday, we got to get our lotto tickets, you know, keep that dream alive of being able to just spend all our time. Oh, there we go. Got the visor closed. Hopefully it's a little better. It might sound a little muffly. <sighs> Where was I? Oh yeah, I've got to get a lot of tickets. Because, uh, you know, that's the cost of being able to dream, I think, sometimes. Realistic fantasy of spending my time on my farm and my workshop. At home, playing with the kids doing all those things, man. I'll tell you what, if I win the lottery, nobody would know. Man, I'm retired military. I've already got the setup that I've always wanted. And I'm happy with it. We're going to go to the left. It took me a second to change my mind. Yeah, okay, so I did skip a gear. That was on purpose. I take off like that in first. There's no point in going to second sometimes when I'm just cruising. The county sheriff likes to be out and about in this area, so I'll take off fast, but I won't speed too much unless I I'm on one of those roads where I know I'm safe because I can see if there's anybody. Also, roads with very little traffic, you know, because safety, right? Here we go. There's second, see? Not really necessary. Oh, God, what a beautiful day. It's sunshine, got wind going through my helmet. I got the uh, vents on the chin guard closed just to prevent too much wind getting in here because I have no idea how much wind noise you're going to see, and there ain't no hiding where I live, man, I am, Southern Oregon is where I settle down, it's gorgeous here, look at those, look at those mountains, ah, uh, Good to be alive, boys and girls. You know, it's kind of fun to have a microphone in my helmet. But uh, I'll tell y'all, I talk to myself just as much when there's a microphone. Oh, sorry about the hand in the camera. I just had this uh, 
OCD moment where I was concerned maybe I lost it. <laughs> I do that from time to time. Oh, got a dump truck. I hate dump trucks. They, well, any dually, really, especially the bigger rigs that are real heavy, they, they throw rocks and they throw them a long ways. So, we're going to see if we can see around this guy. We can. There's a car coming, but we'll make it. And we'll slow back down. Because I'm not out here to die. Working a ticket. Not that I'm worried about dying. I'm 65 miles an hour, man. I'm, what did I hit? 80? Anyways, I'm talking to myself like this all the time. And when I'm on the motorcycle, I got this imaginary friend in my head. <laughs> Or I imagine that uh, I got all the other drivers on uh, on a hook and they got their own microphones. All I gotta say is exactly what's on my mind and they hear me. They don't, of course, but it's just what I do. That's how I shrug off all the bullshit when I'm writing, especially the bullshit with the other people on the road, people who are in cars. Tell you what, if I can ride my bike everywhere, if I can go grocery shopping, if I can take the kids on vacation, if I can go pick up a load of steel from my flatbed and do it on my motorcycle, oh, yeah, I would be there. <laughs> I only got one kid that likes to get on bikes, man, and that kid is crazy about him. Very disappointed that uh, dad said no. That kid wanted to go with me. I said, I wasn't going for a very long ride. I'm just running to the store a long way. It's been probably about a week since I fired my Indian up. And I miss her every moment that I'm not on it, man. If it's raining, that's a sad day. Although, she's not the only toy that I have, but I don't know, it's not real fair to call the Indian a toy. This is my therapist. <laughs> All the other things are toys, they're just for fun. I travel on her, love my road trips. They're the best. Take day trips, overnight trips. This thing packs down real good. It takes uh, luggage really well. Although I've upgraded the rear shocks to more heavy shocks, but that was more about being able to comfortably carry passengers without my rear end bottoming out all the time. Uh, she totally bottoms out if you put an adult on the back seat with the stock shocks. They're just not, they don't have the spring rate for that. So I upgraded, and now it does pretty good. Really, the worst problem with passengers is that the back seat doesn't get used as much as the front seat, so it is still kind of hard. It's not broken in. Oh man, we got a new vineyard here on the right. This used to be orchard, like what's on the left, but they put in a Ripped out all the trees and put in a vineyard. I don't know if it's got new owners or if the farm that's always had it. Okay, that's, can't see, but behind me, that's a horrible intersection. Breaking cars. I'll stay far enough back that I don't have to edit out this guy's license plate, hopefully. We're just cruising. So, I use a wrist saver, I need to adjust it, 
I'm an old man, man. My wrist gives me issues. So, uh, half a life behind the keyboard will do to you. Because that's where my chosen profession, at least the opportunities that I've had in life, have taken me. Despite what I enjoy doing, sometimes the things that you're good at, that you can make a living at, aren't the most fun. But you do them, because that pays the bills and supports the lifestyle that you want. This is my lifestyle, man. Well, so much for staying back behind, so I don't got to edit out that guy's license plate. I may or may not do that anyways. Just because it's a 55 mile an hour road, he's doing 52 and I'm petty like that. So, uh, sorry bud. I know this is country, but uh, there's enough cars coming that I don't want to pass you and corners and all that stuff. Oh, and you got a tail light out. <laughs> so I told you I talked to people. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, all right. Finally get a C fifth gear. So there's a lot of people. I ride a Scout 60. There's a lot of people that poo poo this bike because it's big brother, the Scout 69, excuse me, 69 cubic inch motor. Uh, has a six speed transmission. And the Scout 60 has a five speed transmission. And the Scout 60, yeah, sure, numbers, whatever, uh, on paper, uh, the Scout 69 is a lot more powerful, or, I don't know, people make the argument why it's a lot more powerful. But, uh, you know, horsepower is everything. It's all about ratios, man. You have too much power on too wide of a vehicle. They can kind of kill the fun sometimes. But, you bring down the power, bring down the torque, the horsepower, you might get better grip, better handling. So, people that are obsessed with having as much power as they can possibly get, well, you never hear them talking about making their rigs heavier, their bikes heavier, or any of that stuff, because more power equals better performance in their minds. It's oversimplified a little bit, but I will say that that's not 100% true. And I say all that to say I love my Scout 60, and I know someday do some upgrades. There's a kit that will turn a big board kit that it uh, make it produce more power than that Scout 69. In fact, if you do the big board kit on the 69 also, uh, the Scout 60 comes out in the end. As long as you do the exact same thing, so the Scout 60 comes out at the end with more torque, more horsepower than the 69, which is still, again, you gotta balance everything. So if you're gonna do that, you gotta upgrade your clutch. Better suspension is a must because if you're pushing your bike higher, harder, the back suspension is great to upgrade and for a lot of reasons. Some people tend to just do that. But the front forks, man, if you're going to push them, have those redone too, and make them match the back. Okay, I didn't need to come on this ride and just give advice about this bike, but I, I love this bike, man. It's hard not to just sit here and admire the bike, man. It's like laying in bed with a pretty wife. You guys know what I'm talking about. You just sit there, you look at her, she's sleeping, she's probably a grump doesn't want anything to do with you, but man, you're looking at her, and you're like, holy crap, she's gorgeous, how did I get so lucky, <laughs> man, that woman, I just love her so much, uh, 
Okay. Well, I think it's time we head over to the country store where we've been going all along. So, I only got one more little detour on the way before we get there. So, I told you it wasn't going to be a long ride. But it's a ride. And hopefully the first of many riding videos. And we're gonna take some road trips, we'll do day rides, some rides I might have my kid with me, other rides. I'll be with my Harley buddy. My Harley buddy. I call him up on a moment's notice. Hey man, it's nice, he's busy, he says no. So you wanna go for a ride? He asks the wife, she always says yes. Now we're out the door. But we may only go 100 miles. Man, that 100 miles is going to take us four hours. You know why? Because we stop, we chat, we get gas, we chat, we get lunch, we chat. We go find a cool place to ride to or park that's got a good view. We chat. Usually when we're riding, our communicators are not hooked up. Those are reserved for road trips. Because when we're riding, we're not talking to each other. And he knows me well enough to know that I'll never shut up. Okay, we're going to slow down. There we go. There we go. in the springtime. Summertime is grass is dormant and yellow. But springtime, everything is green. Everything is green. When the sun comes out, it's in the 70s and lower 80s. And it's freaking paradise, man. staring out the big window all day, looking at the sunshine, looking at the animals out in the field, looking at the birds, the dogs. Yeah, it's slow way down. Um, there's a lot of gravel in these corners. Um, there's a lot of rednecks out here that, uh, I don't know why the bus driver waved that. Oh, he must recognize me there. <laughs> Anyways, I don't, there's a lot of rednecks out here that uh, can't be bothered to slow down and take the corner properly, especially if they're towing a trailer. And so their trailers cut these corners out on these country roads, and they're always throwing gravel into the intersections. So when I'm riding in this neighborhood, I go to turn a corner, and I slow down to first gear because, especially on this bike, you got to be careful. And there ain't nothing wrong with being defensive. There's nobody waiting on me behind me. I just take my time. Alright, here we go. What? Heartbreaking and downshifting at the same time. I got a little squeal in the tire.
Alright, I'll be good because I'm coming up to a more densely populated area. Not to set your expectations very high, but it's an intersection. And there's a couple stores and a restaurant, a couple gas stations in that intersection. And it does get more traffic. And I try to be a good boy when there's traffic. See, that's silver. That's a state police officer. Oh no, silver car behind county. I'm telling you, man, that's that sheriff I was talking about. They are all over out here. That's why you gotta know which roads. But uh, they stick to these more populated roads heavier travel. Um, there's too many roads, not enough of them. So, but as long as you're not being an asshole, not causing problems, not being too dangerous, they pretty much leave you alone. As long as you're staying away from other traffic or high population areas. Anyways, is the end of our ride as I pull in here. Okay. We're just going to make our way back home. Be a quick trip. Eyes are closed. Here we go. soak this up for a moment longer. When I get home, I gotta get the kids ready to get out the door. I gotta take them to a birthday party. So, there's not a better way I can think of to prep for a child's birthday party than, uh, Going for a ride beforehand. Got purchase stress. Relax, unwind, let the day go. Let's see, give your family the attention that you want to be able to give them. Sign kind of taking a different route home for most of it. I got about six different ways I can get to that store, depending on how far I want to go. I got two different directions out of my driveway. Each of those directions leads to two different directions at a main road. And then, with each of those directions, I get a couple more options. Okay, buddy. I'll tell you what, there is no shortage 
of people on two wheels in this part of the country, no matter what time of year it is. So if I need to get there fast, I take the most direct route. But if I'm taking the bike, I almost never take that route. Unless I'm in a big hurry and don't have the time to take my time. All right, nice and slow onto the gravel. Our visor's going up. There we go. God, I love that fresh air on my face when I pull onto the dirt road. It's the best. <sighs> this time of year, you smell everything growing. Oh, man. All right, well, we're home.